Today is finally the day. We've been waiting for this for a, for a long time. A science team from Los Alamos National Laboratory is in Pasadena, California, eagerly and they'll admit nervously awaiting the long anticipated entry, descent and landing phase of the Mars Science Laboratory mission. There is a lot of excitement here in Pasadena. Uh, everyone is, is just anxious to see this thing land safely later tonight. The mission's Curiosity rover is expected to touch down sometime after 10.30 p.m. Pacific time on August 5. The rover carries three technologies with LANL connections, science packages ChemCam and ChemIn, and its nuclear power generator and heat source. This is the room from which we've been flying the spacecraft uh, ever since just a few minutes after launch and until now. And this is the room which we'll be using to fly the spacecraft when we do the entry at Mars. The world's news media has amassed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena to cover the momentous event. The day before landing, many took the last available tour of the JPL control rooms. This room is a national historic landmark. The tour included deep space network control, where the signals will come in confirming the landing, and the adjacent flight control center where JPL has been flying the Mars mission on its almost nine-month journey. They're going to try and get, you know, on the parachute coming down. Meanwhile, an enthusiastic LANL team continues to prepare for the landing and the exciting discoveries to come. For a lot of people, this is, uh, this is the highlight of their career, and um, they will make many, many years of science off of this instrument. Just to be able to see data that no one has ever seen before on a material, you know, on another planet, incredible, incredible. Then we're off and running trying to get science done as fast as we can, as well as we can, and try and unravel the history of Mars and habitability uh, in the past and the present uh, for uh, living organisms. Reporting from JPL, I'm Kevin Rourke for LANL TV.